the integration of the anima. A critical chapter in Jung's self-experimentation was about was what he termed the integration of the anima. Tony Wolf saw this as one side of the story, as it also involved the process by which he had interjected her. In 1944, apropos the dream, she noted that Jung placed undue stress on the subjective level because he had to realize the anima, but he thereby interjected me and took my substance. On January 5th, 1922, Jung's soul advised it as follows, you should not break up a marriage, namely the marriage with me, no person should supplant me, least of all, least of all Tony. I want to rule alone. The following day, she added, you must let Tony go until she has found herself and is no longer a burden to you. On the next day, his soul elucidated, elucidated the symbolic significance of the relationships, of the relations between Young, Emma Young, and Tony Wolf in terms of the Egyptian mythology. On December 23rd and 24th of 1923, Young had the following dream. I'm on a military service, marching with the battalion in the woods of Ossingen. I come across excavations at a crossroad, one meter high stone figures of a frog, a toad without a head. Behind this sits a boy with a toad's head, then the bust of a man with an anchored hammer into the region of the heart, Roman. A second bust from around 1640, the same motif. Then mummified corpse, finally there comes a baruch in the style of the 17th century, and it sets, sits someone who is dead, but still alive. She turns her head when I address her as Miss. I'm aware that Miss is a title of nobility. A few days later, he grasped the significance of this dream. He noted on December 4th of 1926, I now see that for the first time, the dream from the 23rd, 4th, or the 25th, 23rd, 24th, December of 1923, it means the death of the animal. She does not know that she is dead. This coincides with the death of my mother. Since the death of my mother, the animal has fallen silent. Meaningful. He continued to note a few further dialogues with his soul but his confrontation with the anima had effectively reached the closure at this point. In contrast to a marriage, Tony Wolf saw her relationship with Jung as an individual relation. On December 20th of 1924, she noted marriage is socially, legally, and psychologically accepted. Nothing new can come from there. It can only be transformed, also individually through individual relationships. That is why the individual relationship is a symbol of the soul. On September 13, 1925, she noted that their relationship stood under the sign of Philemon. In retrospect, she reflected on the role she played for him. What Carl has achieved now is all based on me. Through my faith, love, understanding, and loyalty, I have kept him and brought him out. I was his mirror, as he told me right at the beginning. With my entire feeling, fantasy, mind, energy, responsibility worked for him. I have an effect, but I don't have substance. He didn't know how to play. I gave him his life. Now he should give me mine and be a mirror to me. She understood this mirroring through her medial function in the terms of the typology of the feminine that she developed. Though my medial side, I am like Carl's hollow form, and therefore I always wanted to be filled in by him. Wolf was extremely dependent upon Jung during these years. On, March, on April 10 of 1926, she noted had a psychological scurvy through Carl's absence, vitamin C. The following day, she added a further analogy. It is the same with me as with Elegoni. C. 
see is not only vitamin, but also when I am with him, the rising sun is good, relaxing, everything destructive has gone. When I am on my own, it eats away at me. She repeatedly tried but failed to be more independent of him. She felt that his fame and success were increasingly taking him away from her and resented his works, ideas, patience, lectures, and, and, the, chil- and the children, and Emma's children. This was cause for bitterness. Again, some resistance when I think how he realized all his famous ideas through the relationship with me, which he only admits occasionally, and how famous he is now and what Emma is with him instead of me, and how I can never accompany him there. An entry in 1937 simply states, Adrian and Anaxo, implicitly likening her situation to that of Adrian, abandoned on the island of Naxo after leading Ulysses through the labyrinth. In dedicated copies of his books, Jung gave private acknowledgement of her involvement. Her copy of Psychological Types bears the dedication. This book, as you know, has come to me from that world which you have brought to me. Only you know out of which misery it was born and in which spirit it was written. I put it in your hands as a sign of gratitude, which I cannot express through words. Likewise, her copy of Psychology and Alchemy, 1944, bears a dedication to his Sora Mystica. In public, he acknowledged her active role in all the phases of analytical psychology in his introduction to her collected papers.